Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales, UK. I say UK because people don't know where Wales is. <laughs> I've got a 14 by 12 canvas and I've just gone to the liberty of putting um, a blue ground on that and I'm just in the middle of drawing out a swan. I thought we'd have a try at painting a swan today. So um, without further ado, just have a look at the palette. Um, I've got some medium red, medium yellow. Cerulean blue. I've got some ultramarine blue. I've got a little bit of yellow ochre over there. I got some white, some burnt amber, and some black, which are my uh, tonal colours. So I use the whites for lightning and the browns, the uh, the burnt amber and the black, and for darkening my colours. And um, I thought, well, let's have a bit of fun because I thought let's paint a swan today. Now you can hear that's been gessoed. Yes, it's important to gesso your canvases. Don't ever forget that. Makes your life a lot easier if you gesso your canvases. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white and a bit of cerulean blue and a little bit of ultramarine blue on my brush. There we are. Bit of, bit of each. And I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to put some blue in the sky. I'm, I'm, I'm not... Oh, there's a bit of contamination there. Contamination and celebration. So I'm, I'm not going to blend my sky in like this today. I'm just going to put streaks in like this. I want I want to keep those colours. I'm going to put a little bit of red just on the tip of my brush. And I want to bring a bit of warmth into this as well and get a bit more blue a touch more white just a touch just a touch just going over my drawing and this is available on the website if you want to pop along um, I took a liberty of drawing out in some tracing paper I shall put that on the um, website for you if you want to pop along there uh, www.live5art.co.uk and uh, you should be able to download that it's in the download section on the shop, not on the, the actual page itself. There's a couple of different places there you can download things. So if, you, if you're following along with old lessons, the page is where you want to go. If you're following along with new lessons, it's the shop you need to be in. So I'm just picking up a bit of white. I'm just making these patterns, just building up a little bit of colour here, there and everywhere. Bringing a bit more red down there, adding a bit of blue to it, just make it that purpley type of colour. Um, I need to bring a bit of moisture. I use a medium mix, which is a resin based thinning agent. Um, you can use water if you want to, but um, be very careful you don't over thin your paints. So I want this to look quite nice and pastely. I want a bit, bit more blue down there. There you go. And just make shapes. So all I'm doing is trying to make some shapes into this sky. Well, not sky. It's more of a more of a pattern on the sky, really, isn't it? Bring a bit of ultramarine blue. Ultramarine, this ultramarine blue is, tends to be a bit on the uh, purple side, on the warm side, on the red side. So it's got a bit of warmth to it. That's why I added a bit of red into the into the painting. We're going to be running the glaze over this shortly. Um, yeah, this makes um, it's a bit of red and ultramarine blue white can make a nice purple color a bit of ultramarine blue a bit of red a bit of white and you can make it a bit bluer if you want it on the blue side or you can make it a bit warmer by adding red whichever way you want to do it it's entirely up to you I'm gonna put a bit of that down there like that a bit violety Adding blue now to my brush, mixing all that together. Just have some fun. Just make patterns. 
and you want these lines to show through this had a bit of white let's lighten up a little area there you could do this at any color you want really I'm just picking up this particular color palette because that's what I want um, I'm gonna get a little bit of red over there because I'm gonna mix a little bit of pink taking a bit of pink off my brush I'll put a bit of warmth in certain areas like this and then a bit more white a bit more white just keep playing Get, find the colors you like find the colors you like and don't worry if there's little bits of canvas showing through that's fine as well just balance this as much, much as you can let's get some lighter blue so mix in a bit of white to some blue and go straight under your swan Swans are actually the Queen's birds in the UK. Um, they're protected by the Queen. They certainly are. Just put a bit of warmth there. What are we missing? We're missing a bit of red. A bit of blue, sorry. A bit of ultramarine blue. I don't know why I said red then, because I was thinking of something else. Get some white. Bringing that blue in, again, look watery, watery. Where's that pink? Let's get some pink in down here. Let's get a bit more white in there. Bit of purple, bit of blue, mixing all these colours together. Make it look as if there's like maybe a couple of ripples in the water or something. There's obviously the swans on the water. Go into a bit more white. This top corner. Get a bit of purple down there. And just keep building this colour up. Using your imagination. As I said, use any colour you want. This this is uh, just my choice of colours. Try try doing this with different colours. You could make at least three paintings of the same painting. With different colors you certainly could let's bring a bit of this lightness into there bring this bit of blue just build it up build it up build it up until you get to the the look colour that you're looking for. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need a bit more warmth. I think I need a bit more warmth around here. A bit more. Maybe, maybe, hang on, let me have a look. Let's use a bit of ultramarine blue and white. I want to put a bit more blue in there, I think. It needs a bit of blue there. Let's get that pastel effect. If I do any more, I'm going to paint my swan in, um, and I think I'm just going to pick up a um, small detail brush and a filbert brush on this. Um, I'm just going to sit back and have a little look at this now and decide exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some white paint. I'm going to mix that into the purple colour that we painted. A swan's white. So when I drew this, I started off with a circle like that, approximately. And then I went. down like that and the back of this neck goes down there it's like a nice pastel this color palette is it's 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 really nice to to play with these pastel colours. If you're just a beginner, have a go, because you never know, until you try, what you can do. So don't think that, for a minute, that this may be a bit too much for you. You may think, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. You've got to trace in. Well, at the end of the day, all it is, is thinking of colour. I'm playing with with color. I'm just making sure my my shoulders my shoulder keeps getting into the shot. So I'm just going to have to adjust my my way I'm painting. I have to alter these camera angles, I think. Because I sit on a quite an a, a funny angle. I should be sitting straight on. When I when I'm painting um when I'm painting these paintings sometimes my back hurts because of that reason because I'm sitting on an angle now let's pick up a little bit of the, the darker purple color and let's just put a little bit of a shadow there like that bring a bit of that down there as well it's a little bit of that, that color it reminds me of flamingos I painted maybe I should um, paint a few more flamingos I'd like to paint another flamingo painting actually Take time. Paint away that stress. Use it just using these little bits of purple at the moment. So I want to go into some. darker purple. I'm not going to be worried about making perfect, perfect, <laughs> as Del Boy used to say, 
I'm not going to be worried about making perfect feathers. Um, this is more of a. This is not a, an accurate painting of a of a swan. Now, if you want to do that, then feel free to do that. If you want, if you want to take on the detail and of the swan and then and, and take this to a, a greater level, then I encourage you to do that. Um, but I'm not doing that. I'm just painting this today. I just want this to look like um, something I can just hang on the wall, maybe in the kids' bedroom, or if you like swans, you can paint it and put it in your own bedroom, or anywhere you want, really. I thought it'd be nice just to paint something a bit fun today. And I do like painting wildlife, but I like painting wildlife in such a way that it's not too realistic because if I wanted something realistic I just will take a photograph of it that's my philosophy you might agree you might disagree but that's my choice Just keep building this. Wing up. And swans are lovely creatures actually. And Jason and I went to London last year and he trips me all around one of the parks there, St. James's Park I think it was, looking for swans. <laughs> My poor legs at the end of that were Again. But we did what he wanted to do and we found these swans. I think they were swans. They could have been geese. I think they were swans. So just keep building, building, building. Building those colours up. And um, before you know it, you've got something that represents a swan just bring in some let's make a little bit more what do we do we did we did ultramarine blue and we did red didn't we to get that color there it is a little bit dark let's just lighten that up And then let's just put some more shadow in. Get a little bit of yellow ochre. That's why I've got the yellow ochre now. And I'm going to splash a splash of yellow. Just to... Oh, it just... Oh, it just changes it. Just gives it that little bit of Wow, you know, it's ping, it just goes ping, <laughs> it just goes ping. <laughs> I'm just rinsing that brush out a bit quick, quickly, and I'm going to pick up a detail brush, a small one. Uh, this is a um, zero, I think, a bit of black. And I want to think about his, his eye is going to be roughly there, and that's going to come down. That's quite lumpy. There's a problem with paint or anything like that. Sometimes this paint can go a bit gloopy. Wash your brush, start again. Here's the thing. Looking nice. Let's just get a tiniest amount of white on the edge, tip of that brush, just to just just a little bit of a 
marker so we know his eyes there. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of black just on the tip of my brush and just going to put a little shadow mark just under there, like that. I'm going to wash that brush out and then I'm going to go into some pure white with this brush. And now I'm just going to very lightly moist brush I, I wash my brush in the water very very quickly and all I'm doing is picking up some of my medium mix which is um, a resin based medium which I use so I can put a nice thin wash of colour there. I'm not using a lot of paint. It's more of a wash. And what you can do with that, you can get a dry brush if you want to. And you can just smooth that in like that. Like as if we rub it in with a pencil. You know, one of those um, What's names? I can't, I can't remember what they call them now. Let's get a bit of this purpley colour. Let's put some. Because he's white, he's going to be picking up all this lovely colour. Again, get your brush. find it's gone a little bit dry dampen the brush take some moisture off dampen your brush take some moisture off your brush I'm using the, this brush now that I was using to blend I'm just going to put in some feather shapes Get in the detail brush again. Put it in his tail like that. Lovely looking, uh, lovely looking swan. I think I just made a make it a bit lighter there. Maybe. Again, wash the brush, leaving it wet. Blending that through. Wow, I quite like this myself. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I quite enjoy myself today painting uh, the stress away here in Wales. And sometimes that's what we do, we just enjoy it, don't we? So, put that brush down. Um, I'm going to put my. Get my little brush. This is the little brush that I was just using for blending. So, what I want to do now is just. a little bit of shape in the water like that we want to 
bring a bit under there. in that water like that. We could get a bit of I might it might catch me sitting in front of the camera so I do apologize but I want to get a bit of making a, a ripple in this water. Tell you what we could do. I'll tell you what we could do. We could um be the female and she could have a couple of babies swimming along there like that or not it's your it's your painting you do exactly what you want to do you can do exactly what you want to do boy a little girl or a little girl and a little boy it doesn't matter does it you decide swimming along with their mum or their dad or their grandparents kids tend to <laughs> live with their grandparents these days don't they because mum and dad are out to work working hard and just put a few more Feathery shapes in like this. Just to give it a bit more of a, a feathery look. There you go. I look like I like that, I like that. And I leave a little bit of canvas show in there because I don't mind. I've been doing that a lot lately. If you like what you've seen today, please like, comment. It's important you comment. If you want to see anything painted, um, let me know and I'll see what I can do. I upload it every Monday. But from now until then, have a go at that. And the uh, drawing is going to be on the website. I'll see you. Nice.